Welcome to Learning Objective C. I'm Scotty from the Mac Developer Network. And I'm Jiva DeVoe from Random Ideas Software. Over the coming hours, well, it's hours of material, how long it takes you to go through, days, weeks, months is, is up to you. We're going to be taking you through uh, learning the language Objective C. Um, and we're going to be breaking it down into a, a whole bunch of sections. The course is broken down into a whole bunch of chapters. Uh, if you're just starting out from the beginning, you may need to watch every single one. If you're uh, maybe a more experienced developer, maybe you can skip some. And the idea of just this section here is to help you make those decisions now so you don't sort of think in about five hours time I didn't need to watch that. But uh, as we are going to be spending so many hours with you, um, it might be quite good if you actually know who we are before you start. Now I I'm from the Mac Developer Network, this is where you bought this video so you've probably got some idea who I am at least a little bit, but Jiva, who are you? Well, my, again, my name is Jiva DeVoe. Uh, I'm an author and software developer. My website is www.random-ideas.net. I've uh, got over 15 years of software development experience and um, many of those writing Objective-C. Now, if you want to sort of uh, follow along and uh, work on the examples and, and maybe copy some of the code that we don't, of course, you're going to need a machine to do that on. We're working on Macs, as you can see. We're going to be working with the tool Xcode, which is uh, free. It would have come on your OS X um, operating system disk, although you probably want to download the latest release because it, it's free from uh, developer.apple.com. should be fairly obvious and get that installed. Um, although Objective-C is on other platforms, but maybe you want to start on the Mac where we're doing this to... Uh, uh, to do that as well as follow along. Um, we strongly suggest that after you've watched a section, uh, you go away and try some of the things that have been there so it begins to ingrain because otherwise, by the time you get three more sections down the line, everything would have, would have gone, would have gone. Now, uh, the course is aimed at a wide range of people. Um, and we're going to begin the course with a section that actually covers uh, C, or at least some of C, uh, why is that, and what are we covering, Jiva? Well, of course, Objective-C is based on C. Uh, it's a superset of C. So if you're coming to the platform and you're a brand new programmer in particular, and you don't already have experience with C, uh, there's certain things you need to know. Now, you don't need to have a complete knowledge of, of everything related to C, but you do need to have at least some basic knowledge, some basics that, uh, that will help you to move along. So basically, we're going to go through and we're going to cover, um, you know, writing your first program. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, how you declare variables and how those variables are scoped. Um, you're going to learn about different kinds of variables and what you know how you work with those. <clears throat> you're also going to learn about structures, which is an, another key part of the C programming language. We spend a fair amount of time talking about pointers and how you use pointers. Um, but fortunately, in Objective C, you know most of that stuff. Most of most of the stuff about pointers, you don't have to worry too much about. Um, we're also going to talk about operators, which is let, what lets you uh, make expressions to add and subtract things and stuff like that. Uh, we'll also talk about declaring and using functions and procedures. Um, we'll also talk about splitting out your interface and your implementation so that you can provide your interface, interface to third parties and, and kind of hide your implementation. Um, finally, we'll talk about you know, conditionals and um, how to uh, branch and flow your code using if statements and things like that, and also iterating over things using for loops and while loops and things like that. Those are all sort of basic C parts of Objective C and kind of the 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 core things that you'll need to know in order to move forward. Okay, now if this is the first programming language you've ever tried to learn, there's obviously going to be loads and loads of stuff that just doesn't even make sense um, about why we do things or other things. Uh, we're going to try our best to make uh, explain a lot of these principles to you. Obviously. We can't explain all the core concepts of programming, so you are going to need to do some other reading and some other research as well if, if this is the first time you've learned a programming language. But, but we do our best to sort of introduce you know, what is a variable, what is a loop, etc. as we go along. Now, we also understand that if you are an experienced programmer, you don't necessarily want to sit through hours of being told what a variable is or being told what a loop is. Um, you just want to know how to do it in C uh, because you've not 
come from C. So actually what happens is in chapter uh, 13 we do a, a review of everything we learn between uh, chapters 3 and 12 um, and we just go over it very quickly again and so uh, if you're just after learning the syntax of loops and if statements and variable declaration you should be able to pick it all up from chapter 13 and if after watching chapter 13 you decide well actually I don't really get what they were saying about pointers or I don't really get what they were saying about structs you could then go back and pick up um, just those individual chapters so that you don't have to sit and watch hours of stuff you already know and get very frustrated. Obviously if you're an experienced C programmer uh, then you're just going to uh, jump straight to chapter 14 uh, because you're not going to be really learning anything new. There are a few objective C bits in the C thing because we do things other ways but the reality is you can probably pick those up again as we go along and you don't really want to sit through the hours of the C material when you're an experienced C programmer. So uh, chapter two, the first chapter we're going to do will give you an introduction to Xcode and it will tell you about the history of Objective C so you might want to pick that up. Then depending on who you are, choose what of chapters two to twelve or you, you want to watch. Watch the review of the basics if you're not a C programmer in chapter 13. Then around chapter 14, uh, we look at uh, an overview of object-oriented programming. Um, right. You know, give us a little bit on that. Just that <clears throat> now. About chapter 14 is where we actually start getting into the object part of Objective-C. And obviously we need to um, at least give some kind of an introduction to object-oriented programming. So we talk a, a fair amount about object-oriented programming theory to start that out. And then we talk about exactly how you use object-oriented programming concepts in Objective-C, how the Objective-C implementation of object-oriented programming actually works. So we go through and we talk about objects in Objective-C, what they, how you declare them, how you use them, and those kinds of things, um, how you create objects, uh, how to declare class methods, which you may be familiar with as static methods from other languages, also, how you can declaratively de show your uh, the attributes on your classes through properties. Properties are a very powerful part of Objective C, and we've got a whole section on those and how you use those. Probably one of the most important things that we talk about in this section is Objective C memory management. Um, Objective C has two different modes of memory management, both retained, counted, and garbage collected memory management. And we talk about both of those. The uh, retain counted memory management, we show you all the rules related to how you can manage your memory using retain counting, and then also um, how to configure your projects for garbage collection and what some of the gotchas from garbage collection can be as well. Um, finally, we talk about using blocks and protocols and uh, categories and some of the kind of um, side parts of Objective-C that really show the power of Objective-C, some of the tools that you're going to use on a regular basis to um, build good object-oriented designs and extend your code and make it reusable. Definitely really good stuff there. So whereas chapters uh, 3 through to 13 were covering C, uh, Chapters 14 through to uh, 27 cover the objective part of Objective Correct. C. And so, really, everybody needs to be watching those. Otherwise, that's the real meat. Uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine why you'd have bought a course called Learn Objective C if you already knew all that stuff, because right. um, to be quite honest, you didn't need to. Uh, maybe I've got your money now, that's okay. Um, so, there we are. Uh, if you really find yourself in that situation, drop me an email, we'll sort something out. Uh, if you're used to coming from an object-oriented programming language uh, and you're really familiar, maybe you can skip uh, chapter 14 because that just uh, deals with the overview of that. But other than that, as Jeeva said, get right in there and, and learn. That's where you're going to learn the Objective-C syntax. That's where you're going to learn the way it works and memory models, as he just said. The guts of this course are in there. Now, also, Jeeva, we discover as we go along that actually, like most languages, the um, uh, it's actually dependent on... Uh, language libraries to give them but you know, one of a better name that sort of come with it like in, in C you have the standard library but uh, in Objective C we have something called uh, foundation right uh, so what sort of things we were going to learn about when we cover the foundation in the final section of the course well you know 
it wouldn't be, uh, Objective-C would not be the language that it is without its standard library. It's not really called its standard library, but the, the libraries that come along with it, the most important of which is probably the foundation framework. And so <clears throat> we try to cover at least a basic introduction to the foundation framework, including really kind of the most important classes of the foundation framework. Things such as NSString, for example, the collections classes, which are really important. Um, that includes things like arrays and dictionaries and sets, <clears throat> as well as things like NSNumber and NSValue, which work in conjunction with those collection classes to um, allow you to store things that aren't necessarily objects in those collection classes. Finally, we finish up with talking about um, NS data, which is a, a, a low-level foundation class, and working with dates and calendars. All of these things are, you know, really kind of those those real core foundational classes that you'll use regardless of whether you're building standard command line applications um, or if you're building complex GUI applications for Mac OS X or even iPhone or iPad applications. Great. So. Uh you're probably sat there now thinking, do I watch this? You're probably very confused, uh, but yeah, don't worry about it. The core is, first part of the course, where well, we're going to immediately look next at Objective-C, the history of it, and a quick, quick look at Xcode, the developer tool we're going to be using, although that's yeah, not really part of it, because we're going to mainly focus on the language itself. Chapters 3 through to chapters 13 are all about C. You decide if you need to know about those. Then chapters 14 through to 27, or about Objective C, the objective part of it, and then chapters 28 through to chapters 35 are all about foundation classes, and then there's a few chapters at the end that cover some stuff like cross-platform and us telling you how nice you are and stuff like that. So uh, we've tried to keep it fairly informal, we've tried to keep it accessible and yet useful uh, so hopefully you're going to enjoy it uh, you know, whatever you're planning on learning objective c4 that's the great thing about it you can be doing it for os 10 you could be doing it for the iphone you could be doing it for the ipad even doing it for windows or linux there we are that. but we'll whisper those quietly because we're coming from the mac developer network um, you know have fun learning objective c and uh, thank you once again for purchasing this course and uh, enjoy the hours of your life that you're about to commit.